Okay guys, I just got my magma burner here, barbecue-ish. Um, this is uh, the burner, comes comes basically for like, I don't know, $4.99. I'm sure you can get it cheaper on sale. I just say the retail and I'm sure people get it cheaper. But uh, I'm going to do a quick little review of this. I haven't seen anything online yet. It's pretty cool. I mean, so far, I mean, I'm definitely going to hook it up to a propane tank. But, uh, you know, this is basically the setup that it comes with out of the box. And I'm going to do a test. I actually started firing it up. And uh, before I thought I'd do a review. But, you know, I changed my mind. I'm going to do a review on this thing because I don't see any. So this is the griddle. I'm putting it on now. It's kind of a sectional thing. It's pretty cool. Let me hang on. Ah, I'm doing it by myself, one-handed. Oh, yeah. That sits right on top. That's a griddle. It also has an attachment where you can put a barbecue grill. I will go ahead and review that later. But this is uh, cool for breakfast or, you know, maybe hopefully this thing says it gets up to 700 degrees. So we can go ahead and, uh, you know, do some steaks on here. Or if you don't want to do it on the grill, you can do it on the flat. And it's got a nice little drain. So I'm going to give it a shot. So right now it's probably already, I did a quick test. It's about 150 degrees before I stopped it. And uh, so the time isn't going to be completely accurate. It's 90 degrees here in uh, San Fernando Valley in California. And I don't want to wait for the thing to cool down. and just want to get this over with. So I'm going to go ahead and do a test. I'm going to fire it up and uh, see how long it takes to get up to 500 degrees. I just put some oil, uh, some avocado oil on there. Hopefully we can get it up to temperature. So start smoking and season this thing. And uh, I'll get back to you in a minute with um, an update on the temperature. I'll probably check it every five minutes and uh, do a quick little update. Okay. Okay, guys, here we go. We're about five minutes in, maybe six minutes. I'm going to start doing some tests in the back corner. Looks like it's going to be about 256 degrees. Back center, 266 degrees. Back right, 254 degrees. And then we'll go like in the middle, 256, 277, a little hotter there, 256, a little cooler over here. And we got 240, and we got 229, 233, a little cooler up front, and then 249, 250. So um, that's at the five minute mark, and we're gonna go ahead and do another test in another five minutes and see how much hotter it gets. And uh, go from there, thanks. Okay guys, we're here with the Magma crossover grill. At the 10 minute mark, take some readings here and see where we're at. Looks like we're at uh, 344 degrees in the back. Back center, 357. Back right, 347. Middle, left, 347. Dead center, 355. To the right, 347. Uh, left front, cooled down to 309, so uh, definitely a little cool section, and 316, and then we go to 337 on the far right. So, so far that's the 10 minute mark, you know, it's not quite heating up as quickly as I thought it would, um, you know, but let's give it a little bit more time and then uh, take it from there. Okay, here we go, we're at the 15 minute mark, let's do some readings here. Put this up here. I'm getting some glare. So the back corner is 389, 400 in the middle. We got 389, 88, 89. Start back in the middle here. We got up to 390. Dead center in the middle. We're at 400 almost. Yep, it's bouncing around, but 400. It's a little windy here. Um, 387. Let's start off here, it's probably cooler. 374, 365, 362. Okay, let's go back up here. It's 353, so that's a cool spot. 368, that's dropping down 362. And over here in the middle, we're back up to 388. In the back corner, we're at almost 400 degrees. So let's check back in, uh, you know, another five minutes and, you know, I just got to Typical one pound tank, nothing special. I didn't hook it up to my main 
uh, canister there. I just want to try it as, you know, as they recommend, not recommend, but as they show. So I'll check back another five minutes. Okay, guys, we're at the 20 minute mark. Let's take some readings here. Let's see. Back there, it says 414, 421, and 410. We'll go back here. A little cooler, 405. Go to the middle, 418, 417, 415. Go to the front where it's cooler. Yeah, 395, 400. 376, definitely cooler in that spot. And uh, 397, that's where we're at. We're about 20 minutes in. I'm sure maybe people have black stones or whatever, maybe they heat up a lot quicker. So, but maybe because of the design of this thing, it takes a little longer. So I'm about 20 minutes in and I'm at the 400. So I don't know how much propane I'm gonna be using to get this thing up to, you know, say I wanna sear a steak or something. I gotta get up to 500. So. Let's check again in five minutes, see if it's getting any hotter, I guess, until we peak. Okay, we are now, we are now at the 25 minute mark. So let's take some more readings here. Starting in the back, we are at 422, back center, 433, back right corner, 424, 419, 433. 30, 429, uh, 424, coming up front, 406, a little cooler up here, under 400, looks like 397, and here we go, uh, 412, that's kind of got a little warmer spot, but it's definitely cooler in the front than the back, so, but you know, that's, I was hoping to get, you know, it's been 25 minutes in, really hoping to get close to 500 I don't know how long we got to wait for this thing to get up to over 500 but you know I do have some uh, avocado oil on there and uh, you know it's kind of the grill just give you a shot of it. it says it's supposed to go you know I know the pizza oven gets up to 700 degrees um, I did do the barbecue season it I'll try to do another video on that uh, the lid temperature said it was over 500. I don't remember what it was, but I know it was over 500, which made me happy. But this griddle is taking a long time to get up to uh, 500 where I like to have it if I decide to try to throw some steaks on here and sear them. So, uh, you know, let's see. I don't know. Another five minutes. Let's go for a half hour. And that's a lot of gas to use a half hour to, to get it ready. But I guess you're camping. You can do it. It's just a waste of gas, I think. Much rather have it... Uh, heat up in 10 minutes. I hear the Blackstones. I don't know for sure, but I'll have to check out some videos, but I think they heat up a lot quicker. But this is unique though. You can do the grill top. You can do a barbecue top. You can even throw a pizza oven on here. They have an attachment, but each one's like 200 and something dollars each additional piece that you put on top. Like this comes off, put on the barbecue and you put on the pizza oven. So it's a modular system. You just need a little bit of space. That's the only problem. Unless you know what you're going to be doing for the weekend and maybe you don't need to bring the pizza part. I don't have the pizza part. I don't cook pizzas when I go camping. So um, so let's get back to you in a, another five minutes. Here we go. We are at the 30 minute mark. So if you're camping, you know, on much cooler temperatures, it's probably going to take a little longer to heat up. Let's do this again. So I'm here at 430 degrees. 440, 428, 29, and we'll try here in the middle, 426, dead center, 433, off to the side, 427, up front, a little cooler, 412, 400, and 401, I guess, and around 415, so a little cooler in the front, warming up closer towards the back it's super hot that's a half hour man we're only at 400 degrees I don't know I don't know if this is uh you know worth it or not I mean these things are expensive um you know I just no reason for me not buying a black stone or, or another type of grill but uh I thought this was a cool concept and I just hoped it worked out I'm just a little you know iffy on the grill uh getting up to temperature in case I wanted to sear some steaks or 
use it for high heat. I'm sure it's good for a lot of basic cooking, but uh, that's about it for right now. So let me, you know, I'm just going to keep going and see if it tops out at a heat. It did seem to get a little hotter in the five minutes, but very little. I do have a little bit of breeze here, like I said. I mean, you can't see it now. It comes and goes here, but um, I don't know. Shouldn't it's it's minimal, but uh, it does come and whip up, you know, little ten mile an hour gusts here and there. But it does work well in the wind. I can tell you that. It's you know. But uh, let me give it another five minutes, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, thirty five minutes. I just want to see if this thing reaches five hundred. They say it goes to seven hundred. At least the pizza oven. Um, I can only think that this would too. I mean, there's no lid on it. Uh, just open. I mean, they probably sell one, but probably expensive. But let's uh, continue to wait and hopefully I can reach 500 degrees. Okay, guys, we're at the 35 minute mark. Just want to see what the flame's doing in there. I don't know if you can see the flame cooking or if I cook my phone. I'm videoing on my phone. Flame's blasting pretty good. So uh, let's do a temperature, so I'm probably a little over 35 minutes, but another reading. Far back, we are at 423. I think we're topping out here. 440, and it dropped down to 437. And here we're at 426. I don't know if this is going to get much hotter. I don't think we're going to reach 500 degrees. I don't know if that's, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to want to keep this if it doesn't at least get to 500 degrees. So... You know, I'm just going to wait 40 minutes, which is way too long to wait when you're camping. I mean, I guess you're camping, you can fire it up and do other stuff for a, an hour. I mean, what do you want to wait? I was hoping maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes max. Um, but uh, so far, I don't know, I'm not too impressed with the griddle top. I mean, maybe I just take off this griddle and put a piece of, uh, you know, look for a size 16 by 16 cast iron and put it on there. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't know. I just bought it, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it. There's a 30-day warrant uh, guarantee, I think. So this little, it's not a review. It's just information for people. And uh, they can do what they want with this information. But uh, I haven't seen anybody do anything like this yet online. And I thought I'd uh, do it to help people out, make a decision before they buy it and spend, you know, a thousand bucks for this whole combo. This uh, the griddle and the barbecue top that, that replaces the griddle. So um, that's a lot of money when you can go get something like the Blackstone for 200 bucks at Walmart or something like that. Although I hear the wind affects it pretty, you know, a little bit. But uh, okay. And that's it. So it doesn't hit 500 degrees in 40 minutes. So I don't know if it's my canister should be fine. I mean, I do have a little bit of condensation. You know, it's not crazy, um, but it's sweating a little bit. And these things don't hold a lot. I mean, they, I only think they go an hour. So, you know, if you're waiting 40 minutes for your grill to heat up to, you know, where you want to sear some stuff, I don't know if that's a, you know, I mean, comment, let me know what's going on. I, uh, like I said, I'm no pro. I'm just an average user who bought this thing, is trying it out, thought it was a cool concept, and uh, want to just give some information for people. And, uh, that's all I'm going to do. You know, I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to not recommend it. I just want to give people the, uh, you know, a look on how this thing works. So I'll have another video with the barbecue. The barbecue probably does get over 500 degrees because it does have a lid. This has no lid. A little bit of a breeze here, like I said. But, um, yeah, you know, it looks like 440 is pretty much topped out. But I hear that's enough to season the uh, pan. So that's it for now. And I'll get back to you with something else.